looks like I figured it out that today we're, we're sideways the right way this time. <laughs> How are you live with me? One of our kids must be on the phone upstairs. How? <laughs> no idea. Well, if you jump on, give us some thumbs up or some hearts. How's everybody? Hi, Nicole. So we are going to talk a little bit about our parenting today, which is not very conventional. Um, Brian apparently gets comments all the time um, about it at work, and we've heard from other people too in our lives outside of that, that you know, what we do is not necessarily the norm, but people are usually pretty impressed with how we do things, how our kids are, um, stupid batteries, low. Yeah, all that fun stuff. So we were going to talk just a little bit about it because we have, um, what is it, dance seasons around the corner and Brian had brought up yesterday, you look tired, <laughs> that to our girls, like, hey, uh, don't think that you're just going to like do whatever you want, that you're going to sign a contract this year so that you are well aware of all of your responsibilities around the house and you are well aware of your consequences for not doing those things. So our girls are very, very, very active in dance and it is very taxing on me because I'm the one that drives them everywhere and I'm the one that has to spend a majority of the time at the dance studio and drive them to practices and drive them to extra practices for competition and go to competition and recitals and it's just a lot. Fix costumes, all that. So if you're like a dance mom or dad, because I saw a dance dad jump on here, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It's just a lot. And so that's what we're going to do. We're going to make a contract so that they know exactly what they have to do around the house and then the consequences for each thing. And we will be following through on those consequences because we've just kind of had enough of our kids, right? <laughs> <laughs> like we're just so over them as they get older it's getting harder to deal with them it's bigger problems bigger attitudes bigger drama and we're kind of trying to like take care of it now so that it doesn't become bigger as they get older especially the girls because I was a girl and I know how much of a bitch they can be when they get a little bit older so we're gonna try to deal with that while they're a little bit younger. Do you want to talk about our non-conventional parenting? Not sure what that is, but <laughs> I don't know why you mentioned it. We're supposed to talk about this contract thing Yeah. about with dance. Uh, so, I don't know if it's not conventional. So, um, A lot of the problems we have is our girls are just like us. Um, I mean, I guess that's the biggest problem. But with that problem comes that when they want to do something like dance, they do it extremely well. They put a lot of hard work into it, but then they kind of think like, dance is here and nothing else around them surrounding dance affects them, like doing their chores, their homework, going to, you know, getting their room clean or preparing for dance themselves rather than like two minutes before we leave for a dance, say, where's your tights, where's your shoes, where's your this, where's your that? Oh, it's dirty. I don't know where it is. Is it in the car? Is it in there? Is it in the... It's always the same shit all the time. So it's always the same stuff leading up to the same event of them going to dance one way or another. Because dance is important to them. I mean, it's important to me because they want to do it. We don't force them to do it. And when they do it, they go all out. It gives them some, some guidance. Um, Activity. Some discipline. discipline. And like gets them geared up to, uh, you know, face the real world where you're going to have to take orders from people or learn how to give orders to people, depending which way they take. Um, but also just to condition their bodies and their minds to understand that when you take little baby steps to do something, it turns into this grand act in the end and you get to enjoy it. But they've had a hard time comprehending last year that although dance is super important to them, 
it's super important to me to teach them the life skills that they need to make it in the real world once they decide maybe they don't want to do dance anymore which is living a normal functional life being prepared you know making their own lunches for school making sure that their own codes are clean and folded and where they need it to be and all them things so they could face each day and living in a clean environment I mean if CPS was called on, our, on us last year, <laughs> I haven't got no defense. Take them away. I don't fucking know because their room, their, their room, their room was horrific. I mean, was really you couldn't close bad. the door. I mean, you're hitting your head on the ceiling. And their clothing shit was so <laughs> high. Of course, I'm exaggerating, but they found no problem with it. Especially our 12 year old. She was like, "I'm dancing. I just gotta dance. It's what I do. I don't have time for the other stuff." And then she comes across the logic that. It's just going to get dirty anyway, so it's a waste of a time cleaning it. And it's like, that kind of shit attitude just drives me nuts. Because then I could also say, well, it's just dancing and frolicking around and doing that. And we pay a lot of money to do it. And you wear a costume one fucking time, and then it's all over with. And then you got to do it again next year. So why do we dance? Same concept. That's the why you clean your room. You got to be prepared for the next step and the next thing. So... Contract's going to be this year where people have non-negotiables in their life. It's going to become a non-negotiable thing for them. They're going to prepare their own shit. They're going to make sure everything's ready. We're not going to stress out to them every day that, hey, you need to get your stuff ready. If your stuff's not ready, you're not prepared, then we're not going to dance. If your room's not clean, your chores aren't done, your homework's not done, then we're not going to dance. And it's not asking a lot because they got plenty of time to do it. Yeah, I'm home all day, so when they get off the bus, they have, well, let's see, Han Hannah has like three hours before she has to go to dance. There's plenty of time to get chores done, and honestly, though, she's not bad with her homework at all. Well, and the homework's not the issue. No, you know, it's the done, that doing done. chores. It's, it's fucking everything else with her, but if she comes home, she can watch a couple episodes of Netflix or whatever show she's watching at that time, no problem, but then she'll tell you... Well, there's just not enough time in the day to do the things you want me to do. And I say, well, if there's not enough time to do the things that are important to you or the things that are important to us and the basic things you should be doing like your chores and that, then I guess there's not enough time to do dance. So we're going to try to, you know, test this out this year. For us, for me, it's non-negotiable. If you sign that contract and you know what it says and what it entails and you decide consciously to disregard any given step on that on that contract then it's no dance we'll lose out on money we'll lose out on time but whatever i mean it's more important that these these kids learn that a they need to take charge of their own lives and make sure that they're prepared for themselves but b that there's consequences when you don't do it the consequence isn't that oh i'll do it tomorrow because it never happens and it's always fight with somebody all week and then that last hour before it's time to leave then it's go time for them I'm gonna get it done I'm gonna get it done fuck that no nope. no nope. <laughs> we're not gonna bitch and moan all week that we want something done and then you're gonna do it in the last hour no nope. you're gonna have it done the whole time all week long and once it's done we all know it as adults you sometimes you don't want to do shit but the more you prepare and clean up after yourself and do this or that it's easier to do because instead of cleaning a whole room for four, five, six, seven, eight hours for two days on a weekend because you trashed your room that bad, you're just picking stuff up, throwing it down the laundry chute, folding clothes, you know, keeping everything fresh. So I don't think it's a lot to ask. I think it's a good preparation tool for them because they are getting older, whether we like it or not. Um, so yeah. I think their responsibility should manage their mouths and everybody has an expert mouth up there so it's mm -hmm. time to get them expert on everything else. So For sure. I think it's just going to be, it'll be a little bit harder for me. Brian is the, the Marine so he's like... It has nothing to do with oh, that. No, it does. It's it does very not. drill sergeant like sometimes. It does not. <laughs> it's not Where for me I'm like, oh well you're part of a team, you're letting down your friends who do dance and all their moms contribute to this so it's gonna be a little bit harder for me to stick to it but the dance contract will be in effect no it's not, not hard for either them, because for she, she's gonna sign a contract too saying <laughs> that what this shit in the contract says is gonna stick because I'm, I'm sorry but you know what it's important
for them to understand all these things. It is. So that's what we're doing for this upcoming dance season. It'll be interesting, but um, Hannah, both of the girls love dance, but Hannah is like, dance is my life. So I really feel like if she has it all laid out and she's well aware ahead of time that this is what she needs to do in order to go to dance class, and these are your consequences, and her dance teacher, Miss Dawn, has a copy of this dance contract and is well aware, then I think that Hannah will definitely comply. Ella will be a little bit more stubborn here or there because she'll just be like, whatever, you'll let me go anyway. Um, just because she's the baby and she gets away with a little bit more. But I think that it'll end up being a good thing in the long run. And they'll finally start doing what they need to do in a timely manner. Because they will do what they need to do just on their own time. And like you said, an hour before we need to go anywhere. So See, a lot of it too is when, <laughs> when I'm at work and then Samantha's down here doing uh, in the basement doing her work on computer, they're upstairs by themselves. They don't start actually cleaning or doing stuff until they hear footsteps going up the stairs or the, oh shit, dad just pulled and he's home. <laughs> now we have to pretend we're doing stuff. But obviously your eyes don't lie to you when it's either dirtier than when you left or it's like they move one cup from here, from the, the living room to the kitchen. And they're like, well, I started... I, I was really working hard today, and then they throw all these lines of bullshit at you. So it's basically about being independent on yourself. We shouldn't watch over your shoulders, and there's consequences when you don't do it. And, you know, go from there. So next year, we shouldn't need a contract. I think it'll still be a good thing to do, though. I mean, it's a good thing to do, but this is a, it's a stepping stone to say, well, I know what I need to do. I don't have to have a contract because I'm mature enough to make my decisions on my own. I'll make sure I have all my stuff ready for you and I'm not gonna drive you guys up the wall and then say, well, will you take me here now so I can have fun and enjoy myself even though I tortured you the rest of the week because it's not worth it. It's not worth the aggravation or yelling and I don't understand like you yell, you get aggravated, you land up doing shit yourself and then they get to go reap the benefits all the time. So we're gonna put, a, put an end to that. We're fed the fuck up. <laughs> and they're not getting any younger. It's only going to get worse. No, so that's why I said if, if their responsibilities are going to match their freaking mouths because they got something to say for everything. They got to an answer for everything. So they're going to answer in other ways now because they, have, they don't hesitate on spitting off or spouting something out of their mouth when they're not happy or happy or whatever it is. So yeah, now same thing with our son. We just need to find something for him because he's not really into activities like that. So, yeah, he wants well, a job though. He, he's working on that right now. Yeah. That if he could prove that he could do things around the house, then he can prove that he is capable of getting a job and respecting his superiors at work. Because right now, you ask him to do something or tell him to do something, and it's, it's not a pretty sight. It's pretty damn disrespectful half the time, three quarters, fucking 99% out of the time. He says something pretty disrespectful or rude and or I, give it that little smirk and I told him you know it's time for him to grow up I mean he's gonna be 16 years old in November so he's gonna need to do the job but he also needs to learn that he's gonna have to listen to somebody that doesn't want to fucking do the job just as well but is like enjoying telling people to do the shit he don't want to do so his he's a whole nother story <laughs> that's a whole nother video for another day that's like I didn't think he was going to be bad as a teen, and he's not bad in behavior when it comes to doing dumb shit like we did when we were teenagers. Like we, I don't even know where this kid came from, how we got him from how we were as teens, but he, uh, yeah, that's, it's just, I thought we were in for it with the girls. I don't even want to know if the, he's this bad, how bad it's going to be for them. <laughs> oh my God. We're going to like, we're going to be in a loony bin. That's what it's going to be. We're going to have to be institutionalized. I'm not. <laughs> These kids don't realize I'm 36 years old, but I got the mindset of an eight-year-old. And I'll get on that plane and that level, and don't worry, we'll win. I'm not surrendering my house to these chumps. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, they're going to do what we want, or they could walk. Oh, yeah, you have three girls, so God love you, because, oh, my God. We only have the two, and the boys are already ridiculous, but we're hoping 
that no. they're not that bad as they get older because they I understand that the attitude will be there I'm the mom so I'm probably gonna get the brunt of it but you know whatever it is what it is right all right well we should probably get going because my I have plans with my mom that's why we came on a little earlier than normal today so that's it dance contracts for the girls that want to do these wonderful things all year round and it's gonna be like a 10 month contract for them because they start in September and they finish in June and they're going to be made well aware of their consequences as is their dance um, teacher Miss Dawn who by the way I absolutely love and I know will go all in on this with us as well because she totally believes in the structure and making sure everything's done before you come to dance so I'm excited about that. Alright guys well you guys have a great day. We're gonna go, he's got fire hall business to attend to. I have mom business to attend to. Oh yeah, Karen, for real. Like, should I just draw one up for all of our kids? I feel like I should do that. Like, right, and you know what? <laughs> you know what's gonna happen then? Because we're not gonna lose out on our money. We'll go to class and we'll, we'll do a little yes. dance. They have an adult, do you wanna do adult tap with me? No, we're gonna take the place <laughs> in their class. We're just spending more money that way. No, it's not. Because that's not how it works with Dawn. But anyway. Alright guys, have a good one. Bye.